Trobar in the language of the troubadours or old Occitan means to find or to invent. They used it in the sense that they would say, I am composing a song or I am trying to fit words to music. And I wanted my students to do their own kind of trobar in their creative projects. That is to say, to reinvent or reinterpret the lyrics for themselves. One of the challenges of teaching medieval literature is how to make literature that is so distant from us accessible to students in an innovative yet historically responsible way. This is especially true for medieval lyric because we know so little about how it was transmitted or received or performed. But one of the things I wanted to emphasize in my course on troubadours, who are lyric poets of the 12th and 13th centuries, was how this lyric was performed before a live audience. And I wanted them to think about this through doing creative projects in which they could translate or reinterpret these lyrics in a way that was meaningful for them. I wanted them to study the literary and historical aspects of it, but also use new collaborative and technological resources available to them through the division of literatures, cultures, and languages. With a grant from the Stanford Institute in Creativity and the Arts, as well as other departments in the humanities, I brought an ensemble from France, the Troubadours Art Ensemble, to perform for the Stanford community, as well as engage with students in all different kinds of departments and my seminar in various colloquia. This gave the students an opportunity to talk to the performers themselves. How do they interpret this music? And what does it mean that this lyric is literature that is valuable to us today and historical, but it is also an active tradition still being performed in Southern France and all over the world by this ensemble. It's being reinterpreted as well. In their creative project, I wanted them to reflect on this experience and engagement with these contemporary performers.